What is up guys and girls in the YouTube world? Um, it's Matthew Wong official here. So today I just wanted to keep this nice and simple and the video is about the top six things I would highly recommend as a new father. And these are just uh, really practical things that um, have been used pretty much. So when I became a new father, um, there were a lot of uh, things that my wife and I purchased and um, we just like don't even use. Um, but there, there are particular items that are like die hard used all the time and they're like essential. So I'm just going to show you uh, those six items. Um, so the first item was actually recommended by an old manager of mine at my um, previous job and it is this here. I don't actually know what these are called. I think it's a, like a medicine ball um, or something like that, but I would highly recommend this uh, medicine ball. Um, so as a newborn up until a uh, toddler, this has been essential um, for bouncing my son. Um, so I use this when um, I'm putting my son to bed or if he wakes up during the night. Um, so what you do is you just sit on it and you hold your baby and you bounce. Um, but it saves you from having to stand up and bounce pretty much. So it just pretty much makes it easier to bounce your uh, baby. So this here, I'd highly recommend. You could probably buy it for super cheap from like Rebel Sports or something like that. Um, so if I just like sit on it, I can just like, you know, bounce up and down like that and you just like hold your baby. So this has been like essential and it's, it gets used every day. So I would highly recommend that for all you new dads out there. Okay, so the next thing I've got is, um, I can't actually show it because we've packed it away, but what I'll do is I will um, put it on the screen. Um, so the best way I can explain it is it's like a cot with wheels on it. Um, we don't actually use it anymore because our um, baby boy has grown up now, so we don't need to like put him in a little cot. But um, when he was a newborn, we had this cot that had wheels on the bottom of the legs. And um, what made that really essential was that you could just like wheel the baby around. So for example, if you were in the lounge, um, watching TV um, and you wanted to take the baby into your bedroom um, but you didn't want to disrupt the baby sleeping um, because this cot had wheels on it you could just wheel the uh, baby into your bedroom for example um, so I would highly recommend this particular cot with wheels on it um, because it will actually make your life a lot easier especially with a newborn. Okay, I've just got these on my phone. So the third thing is this here. Um, I'll try and actually, what I'll do is I'll just zoom in on it. So this here is a, a white noise machine. It's called the Electrofan Evo. And then all you have to do is just push the button. And you can, I don't know if you can hear that, but that's the white noise sound. It's like the sound of a fan and then there's different settings here you can set the volume and the cadence and that sort of thing I think. So the reason why I would highly recommend this particular white noise machine is because um, it doesn't rely on the internet so if your internet cuts out then your white noise will cut out obviously. Um, so it runs offline and it just plugs in and um, all you have to do is just press the button and it works. Um, previously, my wife and I, I don't know why we did this, but we were using um, Spotify and like a Google Home speaker and just playing it overnight. But 
of course that relies on the internet so every now and then um, the white noise would just stop or Spotify would crash and then the white noise would stop and then you would have a crying baby so I'd highly recommend that uh, Electrofan Evo white noise machine it's got like 20,000 reviews on Amazon or something like that okay so the fourth thing is uh, a book called What Mama Makes so this is kind of more relevant when your child perhaps is towards the one year old mark like nine months plus eight months plus mark when they can um, pick food up and eat them eat it with their hands um, this book here so this book I would highly recommend it's called What Mummy Makes and it's by Rebecca Wilson um, the reason why I recommend this book is because for me personally I suck at cooking but I'm I know how to follow instructions um, so these are really easy to make and follow in terms of instructions and they only take like 10 15 to 30 minutes max a lot of these recipes um, so pretty much all you have to do is like put everything in one bowl mix it around and then you bake it or you cook it or whatever so that's pretty much a concept of the book you just kind of put it all together and then mix it up and then hey presto you've got food um, for your baby slash toddler and the cool thing is is that like so far my son has actually eaten everything from that book he's he hasn't actually said no to anything that I've cooked in that book so it's a bloody lifesaver actually okay the fifth thing sorry I really should have put these in better order because I have to go back to my son's room um, the fifth thing is this here oh, we'll point the camera to it this here um, so this is a sleep like a baby camera and it operates um, at night time as well and it's got this cool little app with it and you can um, view you can view on the app on the camera um, yeah and it it's got like night vision or something like that um, and you, you, you can tie it onto things like tie it onto the side of the cot or anything really so it's super flexible and it's got like a little temperature gauge and a little um, speaker thing so you can like talk on your phone and it projects it out on a little speaker as well and the reason why I recommend this is because um, there is a really expensive one you can buy that's on Amazon but we actually bought this for like 60 bucks I think off AliExpress 60 or 70 dollars so it's way cheaper than the one on Amazon but it essentially does exactly the same thing and the app is like super easy to use and you can like share the camera with people and that sort of thing so I'd highly recommend that that uh, gets used every day um, and then the sixth and the last item that we use on the regular is this here this is a brawn thermometer um, I think we got this from chemist warehouse but you do have to check stock levels because they do sell out but it's super easy you just like select the months push this button here and put it on the forehead and then it reads the temperature so I'm 36.9 and then when the temperature is uh, of concern, it will go orange or red as well. And it's automatically set up to tell you. Um, so my wife and I used to have this like thermometer that you had to put underneath the armpit and it had a little metal probe and that took ages to get the temperature. And quite often uh, my son would get upset because it'll just take too long to like use. Whereas this is like super fast to get the temperature, so that's why I would recommend it. 
um, and also that thermometer that we used to use that you put underneath the armpit that actually broke fairly easily so this is more um, strong and seriously like you'd use it all the time um, so those are the top six things that um, I would highly recommend that we use on a daily basis and it will just save you a lot of time and hassle um, for new new dads out there and all this stuff has either been given through advice or research as well so um, I hope you guys like this video and um, please like and subscribe if you want to follow more content.